Hi everyone. I'm going to record this episode of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger live. So uh, this Hi. might be, because I didn't know she was coming, right? Uh, might be a new thing, a new recurring thing. We'll see how it goes. Hi. But since I've been starting talking about what I'm making for dinner for um, the day that I'm recording it, I decided this might be a fun way to do it. So if you are a subscriber, you can see it live here first, and then you can go listen to it again and pick up things that you missed the first time around. So uh, we'll see how this kind of goes, all right? Um, so don't be gross. So um, let's start with what I'm having for dinner tonight. So tonight I'm having um, ravioli over... Um, Sorry, raviolis and roasted veggies and um, a piece of salmon. So the raviolis are actually leftover. I already made them earlier, uh, late last week. And so um, I'm going to show you how I made them, what is in them. But uh, know that I am just microwaving mine for tonight. Okay, so let's start there because that's a really great place. Um, and actually, I should maybe back up a little bit to talk about the fact that there are more than two veggies going into this dinner. There is a carb, there is a protein, and there is a healthy fat, and we need to cover all of those in most of our meals to uh, make complete plates. And that's so simple. Um, it keeps my head simple to think about it like that. Two veggies, at least. Um, a protein, a healthy fat, and a carb. And when I do that, it makes me remember that if that's how we balance everything out and that's how we make something that's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, on the meal chart, it, uh, most of our is big as sheer fist, but your protein has to be double fist. Mm, well, when you're an adult, your protein is the size of the palm of your hand. But for us, that makes sense because that would be a bigger serving. Yeah. And you know what? Palm of your hand goes with you. So you can use that to measure wherever you are. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Very yeah. cool. I'm glad that you guys are learning ap applicable things like that. Okay, so uh, let's start with the veggies. So the veggies that I'm going to have are... Ravioli! Well, yeah, there's veggies in the ravioli. Don't spoil that. <laughs> um, in the oven right now, all of the asparagus... All of the asparagus. Um, because half of it, half of the veggies are going to be my lunch for tomorrow at work. Um, and then I did uh, mushrooms. And I left a few because I will use just a smidge um, on lunch later this week. Um, and I know that Actually, I'm going to want that. And then I doused them in and tossed them in olive oil and 21 seasoning salute. And they're just in the oven. They'll be in there for like half an hour. I'll pull them out. I will literally have my plate out and I'm going to put half of it in a to-go container and I'm going to put half of it on my plate. And then next to that, I'm going to put the raviolis. So let's talk about the raviolis. Holly is not having this ravioli because she apparently doesn't like it. But she's having like different ravioli with different veggies in it, which is, is it? totally fine. Um... But for me, my raviolis are going to be these. They have arugula in them. So not only, these actually have a veggie, a healthy fat, and a carb. So raviolis are like magic little poofs of goodness, right? And then we're going to put, um, put them in a sauce. And the sauce is a great place to hide your veggies if you puree it in there. Um, or when you stuff the, ve the veggies into the ravioli. These are great places to hide veggies. These are great places to get something, try something that you necessarily don't really like, but you know is good for you, and then you're not even going to notice it. Wait. Okay, so great for greens. Um, so the sauce that I used uh. for my raviolis um, is literally two ingredients. Two. Uh, well, three, because I used some seasoning. But I said two Anyway, first. so two. This is it. One. I can't tap that. Um, red pepper soup and broth. And I like the low sodium broth. And I like the veggie broth the best. I feel like it gives it the least weird flavor 
too. And it like bumps up your veggie intake, right? In my head it does. Um, so what I do is I put um, one third of the sauce that I'm gonna make, whether it's the red pepper soup, if it's yeah. some other jarred um, marinara sauce or whatever. I don't even know what that and it's is. because sometimes marinara sauces have lots of, um, they can be salty, they can be um, really thick sometimes. They can also, um, they can also have um, high sugar content. Um, so if you have one that does have a high sugar content, then you definitely want to stretch it out. I want to stretch it out too because I like to boil my raviolis in my sauce. I feel like the sauce sticks to it better that way. Um, I feel like it softens the ravioli just a little bit without over softening it. And I do it in a shallow saute pan uh, for about 10 minutes. So you warm all your sauce for a little bit for like three minutes. And then you place the raviolis in there very carefully. And then after five minutes, I flip them and let them go five more minutes. And I turn down the heat to like nothing and just let it all soak in as I'm plating everything else. And by the time I'm done plating everything else, the sauce is nice and thickened around all of the raviolis. So I'm not sure how it's going to microwave tonight. I might actually just throw it in the oven on like a uh, oven safe plate next to all the veggies that are roasting really nicely right now. Um, so that's that. And oh, and then my salmon, because I cheat, I'm just gonna do a salmon patty. I'm gonna grill that up really quick. Um, actually, I'm going to save myself some dishes and I'm going to put this on a piece of tin foil in the oven uh, as soon as I'm done with this. Um, so there are some other things on my menu this week, but I just wanted to go back to um, a couple of things. When you are talking about thinning your sauce, yes, you can do it with your broth, and you can do chicken broth, beef broth, whatever you're using that complements your meal to make sure that it's low sodium. Um, and if you do bone broth, then that's even better. Um, but that sort of has a strong flavor, and so you want to be really careful with that and try just a little bit at a time. You might not want to go with the two to one ratio. You might want to go with and flip that with one thing of broth to two things of sauce. Um, and it depends on what kind of sauce you're using too. Uh, so that's one way. One way is with the broth. The second way is to puree in your veggies. And if you make sure that they're veggies that are sort of soft and full of water anyway, like mushrooms or uh, like tomatoes, like fresh tomatoes to make your tomato sauce go even further. Um, I wouldn't try cucumbers, although when you think of like things that are come to mind, um, that is really water filled. Um, but celery is actually a really good one. It's filled with water. It's going to, when you puree it, it becomes like this silky, smooth flavor and so when um smooth consistency um and it adds a really nice veggie flavor to your sauce so that's a really good go-to to go with also um so you would puree those you would put them in the pan with the sauce and let it all simmer, simmer together um and so that's an easy way if you figure out other veggies these are just the ones that i've figured out so far that i really like that i know work um and then the other thing that you can do to make your sauce go a little further is to sub in a little bit of protein via cottage cheese. I love this option. Um, you don't even taste it. You puree the cottage cheese till it's smooth and you can use it with a little bit of Parmesan and it becomes like this really ooey gooey sauce that you can actually use as like macaroni and cheese. Um, it's really good like that and um, or you can fold in some uh, like mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. Um, you can fold in whatever you want, but I find that that's a really good way to add in some extra protein, especially if you're doing like meatless Monday or something. Um, so those are three easy ways to make your sauce go further and to try something different that will help you hide more veggies in more things as you're cooking throughout the week. Um, so that is that, and then I wanted to go over what else I'm making this week. So one of the other things I'm making this week, tomorrow I am making shrimp tacos with a bell pepper and black bean salad on the side. So I'm going to grill those uh, shrimp and season them in just a little bit of seafood seasoning. Uh, and I'm gonna use coconut oil to do them. And I bought coconut flour 
uh, tortillas. Actually, no. I remember why I bought the coconut flour tortillas. I was going to buy it. Do the coconut oil, and then I have a little bit of mango sauce, and I actually have it here. I have um, a little bit of mango sauce left. It's, of course, Trader Joe's, but it's really good, and um, there's no sugar in it. So it gives you that sweet, slightly spicy. Um, I will probably use some green chilies in my, uh, I was going to use green chilies and an avocado in my um, salad. That's the word I'm looking for. And then the other half of the salad, sorry, my oven just got to temperature. Uh, the other half of my salad I will have for lunch the next day, which is going to be yummers. Uh, and then the next day is Wednesday. So we either throw something in the oven or we do something takeout like super fast. So I'm going to be prepping chicken with um, sweet, uh, spaghetti squash and Brussels for dinner and then I will put it all in one sheet so that my husband just has to turn on the oven and when I get home I'll just prep it all off the sheet and plate it and we will be able to eat at a reasonable time instead of me coming home at 7.15 and cooking dinner at 7.15 and then we don't eat till like 8.15 and it's a whole big mess. Whoo! Okay, what else is on my list? Also on my list this week are some grilled cheese and turkey sandwiches and on that side I'm going to do the rest of this red pepper soup, and I'm going to put some zucchini noodles in them. Um, they come frozen from Trader Joe's, so I'm going to put the zucchini noodles in a pot, pour the soup over, and just let it all steam together, and that will just be amazing, amazing. Um, and then on Friday night, I'm going to barbecue a pork loin, uh, and I probably will actually end up just grilling it on my brand new grill pan. Um, and then I'm going to do a roasted potato salad and some green beans. So that is just going to be a little bit of a comfort meal. It's been a little cold lately. So if you notice, a lot of what I have on my menu right now is all comforting, whole, good, slightly heavy maybe meals. If you, um, it could be heavy, but the way that I'm making it is not. So that's that. And then you guys, this is a little bit different. But I am all about trying new things, right? And I'm always telling you guys, try new things, try new things, try new things. Well, guess what? I am trying a new thing next week and I am going outside of my comfort zone and I am going to teach on something that is not food related and it is not design related at all. It is, who um, I am teaching on self talk about positive self talk next week in a free group on Facebook. Um, it's a whole week, and some coaches and I are getting together, and we're doing this love yourself to kick off February sort of a group. Um, everyone's welcome, moms, dads, kids, whoever. If you need to practice a little bit of self love. Um, self-care, self-love, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's going to be a day on healthy eating that I am not, I am not teaching. I am teaching the first day, which kind of freaks me out. And the fact that it is about something that I am not usually very comfortable with, which is positive self-talk because I don't know why, but like there are some things that you say to yourself that you would never, ever say to other people. So, um, I am jumping out of my comfort zone, you guys, and I'm doing something to change, to change me, to, um, just stretch myself a little bit further. And on that note, I hope that you guys stretch yourselves a little bit further, maybe trying a new veggie, maybe trying one of these ways to stretch out your pasta sauces. Um, and with that, I will say have a freaking awesome week, you guys. Oh, except we haven't heard a joke and who wants to laugh? I want to laugh. I want to laugh. Hey, joke teller. No. Oh, well, apparently she's refusing to um, tell a joke this week. Okay, well, I guess there's no joke. And I would tell you a joke, but it's going to be really lame if I tell you a joke. Um, so, you know, it's going to be like about boogers or I don't know what. I, I, I know very few jokes. Um, and she's so good at telling them, so I am not going to step on her toes. I am just going to leave you guys with a have an amazing week. Do amazing things. Eat amazing things. Check out how these turn out on my social media, and I shall see. Oh, uh, subscribe to this, by the way, um, and then send me your email so you can get on my email list and you can get recipes direct to your inbox. Uh, it's risaogger at ymail.com. And uh, that's it, I promise. Thank you so much for being here. Talk to you next week, you guys. Bye.
finish. The button is not pushing. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh. Here we go.